New AirPods and Apple Hi-Fi coming soon. Google Stadia is alive and well, and so is throwback Nokia phones. How's it going everybody? This is Dave LeClaire with MBO Tech Bytes, and I'm here to tell you about the latest from the world of technology news. It has been a busy 24 hours. A lot of stuff has been going down, and I'm gonna tell you about it right now. And in our first story of the day, a bunch of leakers are now claiming that Apple is going to announce a brand new set of AirPods and Apple Music Hi-Fi on May 18th. Now that's right around the corner. Normally Apple teases its event saying, hey, we're gonna have a big event to announce that. Well, that's because apparently there's not gonna be an event for this one. It sounds like Apple's just gonna send out a press release saying, hey, we have a new tier of Apple Music and we got some new AirPods and they're ready for you to go. So here they are. Now it's important to note that these are leakers and rumors saying that Apple is going to announce these new devices come May 18th. This is not Apple announcing anything, so take it with a grain of salt. Apple may end up announcing nothing, but if the company does announce these new devices, we expect it to be on May 18th, so keep your eyes on your email inbox and on your favorite tech news sites, such as muo.com and Tech Bytes, and we will tell you all about it. Now, if Apple were to announce these devices, here's a little bit about what we know in terms of the new AirPods. So we're expecting Apple to use a design that looks a little bit more similar to the AirPods Pro. We also may see some new features come to it, such as active noise cancel, that remains to be seen. We'll have to wait for Apple's official announcement to know what exactly comes to the third generation AirPods, but hopefully Apple brings some good stuff. And as far as Apple Music Hi-Fi goes, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a new tier for Apple Music. You'll pay a little bit more. You'll get higher quality music, a la Tidal, and that is pretty cool. If you are an audiophile and you like your music to be sound in tip, tip, top shape, this will be the subscription plan for you. And in our next story, Google wants to remind everybody that Google Stadia is just fine and honky-dory. Everything is perfectly fine in the land of Stadia. In fact, Google has over 100 games coming to its streaming platform this year in 2021. I mean, that's a lot of games, right? So everything is perfectly fine. In an interview with GameIndustry.biz, Nate Ahern spoke about the future of Google Stadia. He works for Stadia, so he would know, and here is what he had to say. We're well on our way to over 100 new games launching on Stadia in 2021, and we're continuing to make Stadia a great place to play games on devices you already own. Now, obviously, that's not 100 exclusive. That's just 100 games coming to Stadia, so that includes everything from your small independent games, your free-to-play games, to your big AAA games that are coming to other platforms, along with any exclusives that may be coming to Stadia. If you don't believe in Google Stadia, Nate Ahern has a little something to say to you. I'd tell any non-believer to take notice of how we're continuing to put our words into action as we grow Stadia Makers program and partner with AAA studios like Capcom, EA, Square Enix, Ubisoft, and others. So if you invested in Stadia early, you shouldn't worry. The platform will continue. Will it become a giant success? Only time will tell. But Google is at least still invested in it and it plans to keep bringing games to it. So at least you got that going for you. And in our final story of the day, the Nokia 2720 Flip is coming to the United States. So if you still like to use a feature phone and you want a flip phone, but you want a little bit of the functionality offered by a smartphone and you want a T9 keyboard and you want a basic camera and all that stuff, this might be a phone for you to take a look at. It is not a smartphone, but it does have basic apps like Facebook, it has YouTube, you can send messages through WhatsApp, you can make calls on Verizon's network. It is coming exclusively to Verizon and it's only 80 bucks. So if you're looking for a really cheap cheap phone that you can fold up, fit in your pocket, just like those old school Nokias that we all know and love. This is definitely a phone to consider. Will it replace your smartphone? Not a chance. But if you don't care about a smartphone and you just want basic phone functionality, you want it to be cheap and you want it to be small, and you want a battery that lasts almost a month in standby mode, this is definitely one to consider. And with that, everybody, this episode of MEO Tech Bytes is over. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it entertaining, and I hope you found it useful. I hope that you will do me a gigantic favor and subscribe to MEO's YouTube channel and turn on notifications so that way you know every single day when a new episode of MEO Tech Bytes drops. And I will see you guys in the next episode.